I expect you to take good care of Jol out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the Ket facility, that... exultation. It must be hard for you, realizing what the Ket soldiers are. Doesn't change what we have to do. It's war. What do you need? You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ked aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A, a homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ked ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ked have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ked aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. Treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military, just the resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Cat mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the Resistance real. How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How'd you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? Aya police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> what do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a... spirited argument. You respect her. She holds her own. Not many do. I hope the Initiative is making a good impression. The Initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening. Like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say. At first. We're not invaders. Of course. What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. I'll let you get back to it. Good.
they should put Jar on every resistance recruitment poster. Did he ever contact you? <laughs> no, that man is impervious to flirtation. Why are the good ones always dense? I hear he had a thing for the repository's curator. Never went anywhere. She's just as thick. So, Jarl's available. You're hopeless. Where's that shuttle? I'm so glad you're back. And in one piece this time. I was in one piece last time. A little dented, but in one piece. You hit that wall so hard, you had amnesia for two weeks. Technically, I was still in one piece. Ryder. Ah, helping the Moshi opened a lot of doors around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. Well, you are a bit of an eyesore. Speak for yourself. When I saw my first human, I couldn't understand how you keep your blood inside. Skin that thin. Real change in tone after that care facility. Half the Angara are thankful, half are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. Don't worry about me. They're busy glaring at Cora for some reason. Exaltation is just another word for how to kick kill us. And if you're wrong? If we've been killing for them without realizing it? I saw a cat up close when they attacked. It was nothing like our people. The cat weaponized their victims to make you hesitate. And when the cat begin to exalt your people? What will you do then? Thank you for that. Insight, Pathfinder. The issue facing us is complex. Come, my friends. Deliberate with me.
Pardon me. I'm consulting with a group. Liam's looking for you. Exaltation. The cat just keep asking for more trouble. Really looking forward to kicking those guys in the teeth. Get us there, and we'll save you a place in line. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Liam, what's going on? 
We found that facility on Vold. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But they can't steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Jar. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all, can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Are you sure it wasn't how you phrased the question? Your talk with Jal was... indelicate. They said as much back on the Force. Another thing I left behind. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it... it has to be normal. I need something... familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything... from the Milky Way? One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family worked here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. I doubt a transport would have a post-light drive. It won't be here for... what? 2.3 million years at standard light speed. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. It means your family, the Angara, this team. We're all lucky you care so much. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <sighs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Just ask her yourself. Because. Because. Just because. Fine. Lexi, PB wants to look at Jal's scans. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> I thought I hated the Kep before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did he keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, 
but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. So, Kalu, who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's complicated, Subi. Dromos. <laughs> 